Hi, my name is Mariano Zeron, and in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative way to evaluate Chebyshev objects. So, what do we have so far in terms of evaluating Chebyshev objects? We know that um, function f that we want to approximate uh, has a Chebyshev object that you can build once you evaluate the function f on Chebyshev points. And that Chebyshev object can be expressed in two different ways. First one is in terms of the Chebyshev polynomials. That expression has coefficients ci's. And the other uh, way that it can be expressed that we've been talking about in the previous videos is in terms of Lagrange polynomials. And this has coefficients vi's, which are these values over here. Now, the advantage of using this expression is that it can be modified. And so what we know as the barycentric interpolation formula that has this expression, expression over here. Now, that formula has two advantages. One of them is that it's very quick to evaluate, its complexity being ON. And the second one is that it's numerically very stable. So all good when we use this, um, this barycentric interpolation formula. Now, if we apply the fast Fourier transform to the set V of coefficients VI, which is a pretty quick algorithm, we obtain a set C that consists of all the coefficients ci. So basically, this change of basis, because that's all it is, really, this expression, or this object, expressed in terms of Lagrange polynomials, when you take the coefficients and apply the fast forward transform, what you obtain are the coefficients ci that allow you to express this same object, but in terms of Chebyshev polynomials. The complexity of this algorithm is only in log n, so quite feasible. And the good thing about that um, is that these coefficients, ci, allow you to get or to identify, not to identify, to estimate the error of approximation that this Chebyshev object makes as an approximant of the function f, which can be very useful in some cases. And this is with only the information that he started off with, which is this. So you don't require or you don't need to evaluate the function f anymore. We'll talk about that, by the way, in a different video. But for the time being, the only thing that I want to highlight is that if you've got this expression, you can also evaluate it very quickly and stably. How? With a Clenshaw algorithm. So this algorithm has very similar properties. Um, than the barycentric or very similar properties to the barycentric interpolation formula. First of all, can be evaluated in with linear complexity, so ON. And secondly, is also numerically stable. So it doesn't really matter which expression you start off with. You've got this expression, you can straight away use the barycentric interpolation formula. If you've got this other expression, you can use the Clenshaw algorithm. Both ways are optimal in terms of speed and stability. So in this video, what we've seen is that there is this nice possibility of using either of these expressions. That one can be obtained straight from this information. That one is obtained from this information. Applying the fast forward transform, it gives you the advantage of estimating the error. And then once you've got that expression, you can use the Clenshaw algorithm. Thank you very much for following us in this video. Please get in contact with us if uh, you've got any queries and see you next time.